but they would also work in some discipling into that too, saying, hey, you need, you're called by Jesus, you need a discipling partner, because Jesus, in the beginning of March, he called Peter, James, and John, and Jesus discipled them, so you need a discipleship partner too. And so basically, the discipleship study is all about um, breaking a person saying that they do not match what the ICSC calls a disciple. And that's one of the one of the two insidious terms that they twist around, the meaning of the word disciple. Because let's put the shoe on the other foot here. What if the people you're studying with, okay, ask them, hey, when's the last time you actually got in a Bible study and made a disciple? What was the most difficult, when's the last time you repented of this? stuff like that and you put the shoe on the other foot it doesn't fit but since they have the power and control you know you're going to have to go along with what they say so basically at the end of their discipleship study um you you're at the point where you don't under there you basically the person being studied with totally submits to okay i'm not a disciple i'm not a christian i'm not saved i'm going to hell i need to do what jesus did uh, the study after that's the cross, where they basically walk through the Gospel of Matthew up to the point of crucifixion and basically say, your sin killed Jesus. How could you? And one of the things they do with that study is in order to help you see your sin, they infor- they make you write down all your sins mm-hmm. on paper. And they make you... In, a, in another study, the study after the cross, because the thing is, they don't do anything about the resurrection. Mm. They just stop like that. Jesus was dead. The end. <laughs> Which is very insidious because uh, in, uh, if you in the in the cross study, they strip Jesus out of his divinity, right? Completely. Danger, Will Robinson. So it's basically you have Jesus being a tough guy. He starts out at the um, he starts out in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he says, "Okay, Father, I'm just going to submit to your will here." And basically, he becomes a giant cosmic punching bag the rest of the time, and he is not, from his divine perspective, sovereignly in control of what's going on. He is not divinely sovereignly laying down his life when he's supposed to. Um, this is one of the things that really helped me out after leaving is getting that perspective back and kind of holding both intention of his humanity and divinity on the cross. So that's been really helpful. But anyway, after the cross study, you do what's called light and darkness, where basically it's they cover all your sin and you basically have to confess all your sin you're on on that paper to the people you're studying the Bible with. And you have to give them the paper. You have to give them like, Oh, I was busted for not only like, oh, I was busted for misdemeanor shoplifting. It's like, oh, I committed this sexual sin against this person, blah, 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 blah. And of course, for those things, they they go pretty hardcore. They want all the lurid details, mm. um, which was really, really crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, because when I did it, I grew up Roman Catholic. Mm. Raise Jesus, I'm not Roman Catholic anymore because that is, whoa, boy, what's going on right now? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I went to an all-boys school. I was like, okay, you were never involved in any homosexual activity at, when you were in high school. I was like, no. And they kept pushing that. I was like, no. <laughs> like, what? Your guys are crazy. So, um, yeah, but there's plenty of stuff to bust me on as well. So basically at that point, you are broken. Um and at that point, they give you the quote-unquote gospel, which is basically you are, well, number one, to get your sins forgiven, you need to be baptized. But number two, in order to follow the biblical pattern, you need to be discipled. And you need discipleship from us in order to grow. Um, at that point, they also sprinkle in kind of a side study to kind of help you get your head and kind of, Get your wits about you again. It's called the kingdom study. That's another thing the ICOC does. It equivocates the kingdom of God, which is the rule of God in the hearts and minds of his people of all time across his universal church as his people who mostly are elected and will be redeemed on the final day versus the church, an individual identifiable body of believers. So they call the ICOC the kingdom. 